A senseless murder and an unimaginable tragedy. Family and friends mourn the loss of 15-year-old Aiden Paez. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forbeck live for us tonight at Pleasant Valley High School where a candlelight vigil took place this evening. Caroline. Nick, Pleasant Valley High School is where Aiden Paez goofed around with his friends, played basketball, took part in an anti-bullying club, and impacted so many lives. It's also where roughly 200 people gathered tonight to honor his memory after he was murdered. Everything was Josh Aiden. Now, now there's no more Aiden. The grandfather of Aiden Piaz speaks before a crowd of his peers at Pleasant Valley High School. We are human beings. And we shouldn't be treated like animals, like my grandson was. Just have peace in your heart every day. And we can live a happy life. Piaz was killed in an armed robbery Sunday night. Three suspects are now in custody. It's so terrible how such a beautiful soul like his be taken from us so fast. He was just at my house, same weekend, eating pizza, laughing. Laughing or making others laugh is how friends remembered Piaz at the vigil, organized by students. One by one, friends, family, and even teachers shared fond memories, describing the freshman as outgoing, funny, friendly, and thoughtful. His peers are, are, have been struggling. I mean, Aiden was not just, you know, your average kid. He was someone who brought, you know, life into the classroom, you know, into the gym we had basketball. and. Uh, was a very funny kid. I was proud to hear him speak about him. I was proud to see them have the courage to kind of say something, and I think that just shows their character to, you know, to try to show the family, you know, all the nice memories that they had about Aiden, which maybe helps the family in a time like now. His uncle ending the night with a message for the other kids. A lot of us helped to raise Aiden. We don't want to see anything like this happen to any of you. A very emotional night here. We heard about Aiden's special relationship with his grandfather, how they would play basketball together, and how Aiden would help his grandfather around the house. It was moving to see how many lives Aiden touched in just 15 years. For now, reporting live in Pleasant Valley, Caroline Forback, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Caroline. And a service for Aiden will be held on Friday and a mass on Saturday. All are welcome. The time and the location will be on our website, pahomepage.com.